Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today, I will show you how you can make these five beginner-friendly Valentine's Day designs. So let's get started. So we're starting off with clear tips and applying a base coat to all of the nails. After that is cured, we're gonna go ahead and start applying the colors that we chose for this design. So for the pinky, the ring finger and the pointer finger, I'm going to be applying two coats of this light pink color. And for the remaining two fingernails, I'm going to be applying two layers of this darker pink color. After that, I will apply a layer of matte top coat to all of the nails. As we're going to be drawing designs later on, it will make the process a lot easier. So starting with the first design, we're going to be taking a black polish and a very thin detailer brush. And you want to draw three lines on the nail like so. And since these are going to be arrows, we're going to paint little stripes on the back end of the arrow. And then you will grab a dotting tool and a red color of your choice and you will draw small hearts at the edge of the arrows. For the design on the ring finger, we're going to need some white and brown because we're going to be painting a nice little teddy bear. So grabbing your dotting tool, you will want to take the brown polish and start creating a sort of an oval shape and a big circle on top of it. Then you will want to add two ears, its legs, and two little arms. With the white polish, you will give it a little snout <laughs> and a belly. And with your black, you will add little eyes and a nose, a mouth, and with a little bit of pink, some cheeks. And lastly, with the red color, you can optionally add some hearts around the design to show that it's a teddy bear in love. <laughs> now for the next nail, I'm going to show you how you can recreate this very famous lip design that you have probably seen all over your Instagram page. And it is really easy to do. So as you can see here, all you have to do is start with three dots, two uh, above and then one below them. And then you connect the two little dots and start stretching them out pretty much with adding a little bit more polish. It is a super easy design and I really want you to give this a try and let me know what you thought. Maybe you won't get it the first time, but believe me, if you have a toothpick at hand instead of a dotting tool, you can definitely make it happen. For the cupcake design on the pointer finger, you want to take your brown polish and start creating a square. Then with your dotting tool, you're going to take some white and start putting frosting on your cupcake. With a thin liner brush, you want to add two stripes onto the cupcake and then with your dotting tool and the red color add a heart on top of it like a cherry and some red dots. For the thumb I will show you a very easy way to write the word love. So with a very thin detailer brush you will start recreating the design I've made here. And it is very, very easy. And because the thumb is a bigger nail, you won't have to struggle too much with making very small lines. So after you have cured the designs, you're going to grab any nail glue or gemstone glue you want. And we're going to use it to apply a layer on top of the calligraphic love design that we made on the thumb because on top of it we're going to be adding some caviar beads 
and of course this step is not mandatory but you can take inspiration from it and recreate something on your own either with glitter or with different polish colors whatever you like it's up to you Using the same caviar beads, I'm going to add some sprinkles on top of my cupcake. And then I will start top coating all the designs that I made on the nails to help them last. And of course, because I'm indecisive and the middle finger didn't seem shiny enough, I decided to take some silver color and add some more silvery, glittery lips. <laughs> Another last minute addition were a few hearts on the love design on the thumb. After curing the nails, you're going to apply some cuticle oil. And with that, you're done! So here are the five simple Valentine's Day nail art designs that I wanted to show you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment telling me what you thought, and leave a like to the video. And this was it for my Valentine's Day designs on YouTube this year. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for two more designs this week. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye!